What's going on, everybody? This is JVB from the Postgame Report podcast with a very special video here. I'm going to demonstrate how I can play remote play on my PlayStation 4 via a tablet. Now, the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation Vita have the capability of doing remote play. Sony then expanded that feature to its Xperia Z platform whether it's a phone or a tablet, so you can do it on either or. The beauty of that is since the Xperia Z platform is running on Android, people have discovered that you can also do that on current Android devices. Here I have an LG pad and it's running the latest, well, not a uh, lollipop or KitKat or whatever, the, the latest Android uh, iOS or OS is named, but I have the current uh, or the or the second to most recent operating system on my Android device, and so far so good. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you guys. So first and foremost, here's the whoop, and you saw my horrible face there. So here's the typical way of doing remote play, and here I have Persona Four. So if you're familiar with remote play, you, you're fully aware that if you own a PlayStation Vita, you can easily go here on your PlayStation Vita and connect to your remote play. Uh, I currently don't have Wi-Fi because I'm cuckoo in the head. Okay, so there we go. Now, I don't want to harp on this too much because... If you're a PlayStation 4 owner or you're thinking about it, you're, you you might be aware of the fact that you can do remote play on your PlayStation 4 and your PlayStation Vita. So here I'm connecting to my PlayStation 4 with the PlayStation Vita. And let me let you know, you can do this from, I don't know, like pretty much anywhere in the United States. I've heard stories of people doing it uh, a, a couple of thousand miles away from their homes. Well, yeah, I think somebody actually said 2,000 miles away from home, they were able to use remote play as long as uh, as long as the connection is good. So, I did it from Manhattan. I live in Queens, so we're talking about maybe 20 miles away from my house. I was at a Starbucks with crappy connect uh, connection, internet connection, and it was able to connect to my PlayStation 4 at Starbucks with my PlayStation Vita. I was able to browse around my menu and everything like that, as you can see here. So this is the conventional way. And if you notice, I don't know if you can, up here is showing my uh, PlayStation network, which is JV Beta. Feel free to add me, I'll, I'll do the same. So I'm gonna back out of this. So you hit the home button, Click on that, actually go back to the live and it logs you out. So now we're gonna go to the tablet because even though I can connect to the PlayStation Vita and play my PlayStation 4 games, I can't use the DualShock 4. So that's quite annoying because yeah, there, there, there are certain games that will run okay via remote play and there are other games where you want to play for an extended period of time, so you want a controller instead of using the little control knobs on the PlayStation Vita or the rear touchpad. Okay, so here's the tricky part. You see this little app, Remote Play app. Now that is for, as I stated before, the, the Xperia Z platform. Now there's no particular... Uh, well, let me rephrase that. This there's not a lot to download in this specific app. What you got to do is go to the link that I put in the uh, description and uh, side install it. Meaning that you can go on a web browser on your tablet or phone because you can also do this on a, let's say, Note 4 or Note 3. You go via the website and you download it directly from the link. So it's not something that this is this particular application is not something you're going to find in the Google Play Store. So once you click on the link via a website, 
It begins to download into your system. And when you follow the instructions uh, provided on the link below, you'll realize how easy it is. So once you do it, and here where here's where things get a little complicated because you gotta go into your PlayStation 4, first and foremost, and create a secondary account. Meaning, my main account is JV Beta, but I also created a secondary account so that I can use remote play with a controller on my tablet. And I'm gonna show you in a second what all that translates to because it's easier to see it. But when I try to play remote play on my Vita with a controller, whenever I turn on the controller, the controller all automatically takes back the control away from the PlayStation Vita and you go automatically to your television. I don't know if that makes sense, but your PlayStation 4 essentially takes back full control and eliminates the connection to your PlayStation Vita. So whenever uh, I tried that with the tablet, it was the same exact thing was happening. I was able to see everything on the tablet. And let's start that now. I was able to see everything on the tablet, but I couldn't take control of my account. It, it asked me to take control of a guest account, which you can, which will happen on the PlayStation Vita, but you can't, you, uh, you can't have your saves. You can't utilize uh, all of your trophies and things like that. So anyway, let's get to it. So this is what you're going to see when you go to the app, but move the control out of the way for a second. Let me eliminate this. So you're going to go to settings. And when you go to settings, you have to sign in to your tablet. You have to sign in to your PlayStation network on the tablet with that secondary connection. You can't like, for example, I can't do that on my PlayStation Vita because it has the JVB. I mean, the JV beta connect, uh, the JV beta account into my memory card. So because of that, unless I put a new memory card and then sign into that memory card with my secondary account, I can't do the same thing as I'm going to do here, which is utilizing remote play with a DualShock 4 controller. And this is where things were getting a little crazy. I had to hit up um, a few friends of mine via Twitter. My Twitter is at JVB. And I had a, uh, somebody was instructing me on what to do. And once I realized what I was doing wrong, I was able to enjoy Destiny on my tablet while my wife was watching TV. And it, it took some time to get to get going, but nonetheless, thanks to Forgetful, he, uh, he, he pretty much saved the day for me. So anyway, all right, so up here you see sign in. So that's where you're going to sign in with your secondary account. So let's go back, connect to my PlayStation 4. And as you can see, <clears throat> you have an on-screen, whenever you touch the, the surface of your tablet, you'll see an on-screen control system. Let me try to zoom in. See right there, it's transparent. So you can control everything with these, with this button scheme over here, but turn on the controller. So technically I should be connecting to my secondary account, but it's not doing that. But as you can see, that's my secondary account. So it disconnected. So what, so what I have to do, because it gets a little crazy, gets a little crazy. I have to, and, and also one thing that I did leave out, you have to go on your, right now I'm currently messing with my PlayStation 4 so I can get, cause it, it takes, for me, it takes a few tries to get this correct. What you have to do, you have to make sure that on your PlayStation 4, your main account is logged out. So what I did was every time I sign in, every time I power on my PlayStation 4, 
it, it, it will ask me which account I want to log into. So this way I can log into the secondary account. So let's give it one more shot. This is a lot easier than I'm making it seem. So I apologize for that. But I tell you what, if you can get it to work, I know some people have a 12 inch, uh, let's say Galaxy Note tablet. That would obviously be awesome to play in. You have that high resolution screen and all that stuff. So uh, here I have its uh, 1080p screen, but there are some disadvantages in playing in such a small screen. But then again, uh, if I want to grind on Destiny, like I was doing the other day, it's perfect. So I'm logging in. Hopefully it logs into my secondary account. Okay. So right now you see my Joe Beta account. That is a sub account. So if I want to hit... If I want to use my JV beta account, I power on the controller. And here I am switching over. And I'm going to hit the button. Okay. Hit it again. And there we go. I'm on my JV beta account. You see all of my games, all of my, just to prove my point, this is my profile. <clears throat> now let's start Destiny. Now I, I did have this, uh, one time while I was playing, it did disconnect. I had to do it all over again, but as you can see, the process is pretty quick. So, uh, as I stated, it's not the most reliable way to play there are times where um, i have this sitting next to my wi-fi sometimes i will get some stuttering or some jittery and it will give me a connection uh you know like it'll, it'll give that little message where it's telling me that there's a connection issue and then it goes away pretty quickly so for example i was playing madden during the middle of a pass play, the thing started stuttering, and I had no idea where I passed. Next thing you know, when everything got back to normal, it was intercepted. <laughs> so, uh, you just gotta be fully aware of that. I have a pretty strong connect, uh, connection, 75 up, 75 down. So I don't know why that happens. Same thing with the PlayStation Vita. There are times where I'm on remote play, and it doesn't show a full a full connection so that's kind of weird so as you can see here i am moving with my controller you see a little input lag you see that which is which is you know what that is why can't i choose there we go that is uh something that you would expect considering that everything here is being streamed so let's go just gonna demonstrate really quick how it is while you're shooting a gun. And it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely pretty cool. I hope Sony doesn't go ahead and eliminate this feature because it's a big deal. As I stated, some people have a larger uh, Android tablet, either a Nexus 9 or a Galaxy 10. The 12, uh, I think a 10, what is it? The 12-inch version of the Note. Even the 10, there's the 8.4. I have a Sur... Uh, actually, let me look for my Surf... Uh, my Surface RT in here. I have the Surface RT. And unfortunately for the Surface yeah, RT... Oh, I got my TV on pretty loud. The Surface RT can't utilize this feature, which sucks because the Surface RT has a 10-inch screen. And that would have been pretty cool. So here I am, utilizing remote play on an Android tablet. Demonstrate what I'm doing here. See, see what I'm talking about? So, as you can see, I'm moving around. Let's shoot. 
tapping on the button. Let's see. So not that bad. Input lag. And there you have it. So follow the link that I provide in the comment section and let me know what you think about this uh, feature. If you're utilizing it, if you found an easier way how to do this, um, as I stated, you can use remote play on your PlayStation Vita, or you can do it on the on a tablet or a Note 3, Note 4 phone. But if you want to use your controller, you got to use the walk around I just provided for you. So let me know. And thank you, as always, for watching my videos. Until next time, I'm JVB.